as President Trump continues to rail against mail-in ballots without evidence to support his claims. They'll be dumping them in neighborhoods. They'll be pe people are going to be picking them up. They'll be bribing. CNN has learned the Trump campaign is bombarding local election officials in swing states with personal phone calls and questionnaires digging for details on mail-in ballots, apparently hunting for potential evidence needed to back up any future Trump claims of a rigged system. You would normally expect to see campaigns try to help learn about the process so they can help their voters, but this is at least as much focused on what happens after the election. In some states, local officials have received forms from the Trump campaign and obtained by CNN with detailed questions about how ballots will be verified, what is being done to store them and secure them. In Wisconsin alone, more than 1,800 election clerks have received a two-page questionnaire seeking personal information and raising specific questions about whether remote voting processes are trustworthy. And in Georgia, clerks received this long list of almost 60 questions, primarily focused on mail-in ballots with questions like what additional security processes are in place to protect mail-in ballots. Election experts say the questions seem more like a deposition than an effort to collect basic facts. They're looking to catch election officials maybe in a gotcha or something like that rather than to help their voters and their campaign navigate the process. A Trump campaign spokesperson says, quote, as part of the Trump campaign's efforts to ensure a free and fair election, we have asked county clerks for information so that we can gain a detailed understanding of absentee voting processes. Courting clerks and gathering information ahead of an election isn't unusual, but election officials tell CNN this is more ramped up, aggressive and targeted than in years past. The expansive effort comes as the White House indicates, it may not accept results after Election Day. What we want Election Night to look like is a system that's fair, a situation where we know who the President of the United States is on Election Night. That's how the system is supposed to work. But Election Night results are never official, and if the election is contested in court, the responses to the questionnaires could be used by Trump's lawyers. Election experts say one possible election scenario is what is known as the blue shift, with Trump ahead on election night and Biden pulling in front after election night through mail-in ballots. There is no such thing as election night results. They're only partial results, and they always have been partial results. It's because states want to do their jobs in validating that every vote has been properly cast and that all of them have been counted.